everyone. So I went to go um, to a, some used bookstores today um, to do some book shopping for the kids and for myself. And I went to two library thrift stores in Encinitas and Carlsbad. And I found some great books. So we are kind of overrun with books. So what I do now is I only buy either books that are specifically on our list or books that are in a set that we love or a set that I'm collecting. Um, so I, I'm only buying specific books that um, I'm looking for or books that relate to a topic that we're currently studying. So um, first of all, I got three SpongeBob SquarePants books. My kids are currently obsessed with this with SpongeBob, so these, these were a great find. Otherwise, I have to buy them new. Um, I got my daughter a book uh, called A Dance a Dance Like Starlight, a baller One Ballerina's Dream. So she's obsessed with ballet right now. So I think she's really going to like that. Um, I am collecting this series of books called Poetry for Young People. They had a bunch at the thrift stores, but I, I think I have most of them. This one I was convinced I didn't have. So I picked this one up, and it's a really nice hardcover for 50 cents. So this is going into our collection. I think I have almost all these Poetry for Young People um, in the set. There's quite a bit. Um, I bought a ton of these true books. I love true books. They're so well uh, written for little kids and they're so interesting. So I got The Moon, Comets and Meteor Showers, Serving on a Jury. How cool is that? Paying Taxes. Um, I'm a tax attorney, so I love that. Um, the Navajo Indians and The Apollo Project. So Lots of really great true books. These are perfect for my kids, especially my son. Um, I also got a rookie read about holidays book, and this is more for my daughter. And I got this is a Dr. King. These are also really good. These are like the junior version of the true books. So I'm really excited about that. Um, then I, I have this If You Lived at the Time of. I have almost the entire set. I'm missing maybe three. So this one I don't have yet, so I was really excited to add this to our collection. These are great American history books, and I have a huge set of them, so this is going to be great. Um, I got two Step Into Reading books. I got a level four. We're definitely not on level four, but this will be fun to read. First Kids, all about the kids of the presidents. And here comes the silent E. I thought this was perfect because it's a level two book. My son is currently on level two books. And it's all about the silent E, so I thought that was absolutely perfect for him. Um, I'm also collecting these Magic School Bus chapter books. Um, we're also almost done with the set. I'm only missing a few. I knew we were missing this one, so I was really excited to cross this off our list. I have an Amazon wish list for all the books of sets that I'm collecting that are missing. So I was actually able to cross out a few books that I'm currently collecting off my list. Um, so... Uh, Magic School Bus, we absolutely love all the Magic School Bus. They have beginner readers, they have the books, they have the books that cater to the episodes, and they have chapter books. So uh, we love Magic School Bus. So we got we to have everything Magic School Bus. Um, I got two new We Both Read books. Now, this one is a level K1, and it is very easy for my son so I think this is more for my daughter um, because he's way past this reading level um, but Jack the toddler how cute is that and then this is a level three and way too hard for my son so this is when he's uh, when he's at this level he'll be ready for that book so this is uh, one for her and one for him in the future I got two American Girl books I only have one Rebecca book so um, now I have two more, and so I'm only missing three now. So we're almost done with Rebecca. I'm, I, I love American Girl books, and I can't wait for my daughter to be old enough for these. These are some of my favorite series when I was little. Um, I'm, we also we are obsessed with the Berenstain Bears, and these are the Berenstain Bear chapter books. And I'm pretty sure we don't have this one. I'm 100% sure we don't have this one because I've never seen the pink cover before. So I'm collecting the whole set. Um, anytime I see a Berenstain Bears chapter book, I grab it because we love Berenstain Bear books so much. Um, when I was little, my first series that really launched me into reading and becoming obsessed with reading was Babysitter's Little Sister. So I got, we have two right now. I don't know why I'm not finding these books, but I, but we've only been able to find two books over the last six years. So here's three more that I just added. 
I um, was very excited to find these. It's just, I, I'd love to read these to my kids, um, but I'm not sure. I, try, I started reading one of these to my daughter last year, and she sort of liked it, not really. But anyway, this was what my absolute favorite series of books that I read as a kid, and so I wanted to get some of these for my kids when they're old enough. Um, I got, this is, this is kind of cute. This is A Voyage Into Space. The first part is a story about a little girl who wins a trip to go into outer space, and then the second part is kind of what actually happens with astronauts in space. So um, I showed this to my kids, and they were so excited and so obsessed with this that they had to have that. So um, excited about that one. And then I got a few additional readers. Um, I got this all aboard reader, not so much for my kid to read, but we are studying volcanoes right now, and we have a lot of these all aboard all aboard science readers that have this cool, like it looks like a clay or not even sure what this texture is. Um, my son says it kind of looks like clay. And we have a bunch of these for ancient Egypt that we read all the time. And then here's a new volcano one that talks about Pompeii, which is something that we're studying and are really excited about. So this was a good find. Um, this is a ready to read science book. So I really like the ready to read series, even though my son's nowhere near ready <laughs> to read these. Um, this looked like a really good uh, science book uh, about stargazing. So we'll definitely read this one. And then finally, I got a I Can Read Level 3 books. Again, he's not ready to read this, but it's about the Underground Railroad, and we do not have too many books about the Underground Railroad. So this looks like a really fun book, and my son really likes reading these uh, with me. Not reading them with me, but having me read them to him. So um, he likes to learn about these subjects through these small kind of chapter books. So this is really perfect. Now for myself, I found Voyages to the Stars and Galaxies, um, third edition. So I actually checked my library and I have the second edition, which is a really, really great textbook about um, physics, astrophysics. And uh, here's the third edition, updated. I think the, this might be the most current edition. So I was super excited. Maybe I'm wrong. It, I might be wrong, but at least it's an updated version, and um, it was only a dollar, so why not get the updated edition? Anyway, so lots of great books that I found today on my shopping trip. I love going to thrift stores. You never know what you're going to find, and um, I think I found some really great stuff to... Uh, um, kind of expand on our collection. So I'm trying to stay away from books that are outside of my wish list and outside of our collection because we're just going to get overrun with books. But I think these are all books, or at least either we are already reading or we're about to, we're going to read probably. So trying to stick within our limits. Thank you for listening and watching.